Hello, all of those wonderful women in success redefined. I am Elisa Cota Francis, or as I should say, Elisa Cota Francis, and I am your Vontify video coach. And what I found is that I have a wealth of information when it comes to videos. Uh, it's what I've been doing for 20 years. So I thought, you know what, why not talk to you guys exclusively and talk about like different little topics that I know a lot about and that maybe you want to learn more about. So tonight's topic is vertical video versus horizontal. And with Vontify, which is my company and I love it, it's my little baby that helps you do great self-made guided videos. When you need to flaunt it, then you need to vaunt it with Vontify.com. So let's get started. So I know there's a lot of you out there who do a lot of Facebook lives and a lot of different videos. And there's a lot of questions out there as to, you know, what is the best way to do it? Um, how can I utilize it to the best of my ability to get what it is that I need? Because in the end, we're here to be able to help you along that way. And we're all in this community so that we can help each other grow our businesses and just you know look a little bit more professional on screen so one of the things that um, has been great for us is um, I should say myself and my husband we own a business is to be able to kind of hop on and do a little how-to and a little thank you um, for you know listening to us and and getting some information and so I'm gonna be here to help you uh, you know kind of be that lifeline to say ah, help me you know I need to learn about something so one of the things that's really big in our industry right now um, especially with self-guided videos which is exactly what vontify.com uh, helps you with our self-guided videos and just giving them a little bit of a polish is we have a lot of people who you know ask me well should I do it vertical should I do it horizontal what is the best way for me to do videos and what I usually say you know it depends on what you're doing so Obviously, let's let's just talk just in case people don't really know the difference. Um, there are vertical videos and horizontal. Vertical is the way that you naturally, you know what? I have my phone right here. I have my smartphone here. So vertically would be the way you naturally watch your phone. You look at your phone and you view things. Uh, what has happened is that people do a lot of this type where they videotape themselves horizontally because that's been kind of the norm. Uh, Facebook and YouTube tend to identify better this way in the past, but what I will tell you is they are times they are a changing. And one of the biggest things that's changing is the ability for people to actually watch vertical videos uh, in a format that actually is good for Facebook and YouTube. So what I want to do is I want to talk about a couple of stats. Um, the things that have really launched vertical videos. Facebook Live. Facebook Live launched on a vertical video platform and it was super easy to do it because Periscope launched on that platform. And a lot of you probably know, if you know Facebook Live, you know Periscope. So those are things that, you know, help people understand um, videos. And I'm actually going to go ahead and just hop into my phone just to make sure I'm not missing any questions or any comments, which I don't think so. I've got my uh, iPad up right now so I am going to bring my live up just so I can see what's going on and make sure that I'm not missing anything so when it comes to doing your videos again let's talk about Periscope Periscope was the first to actually create well I shouldn't say the first but one of the most used in the beginning to create this live platform where you could go on have a topic have a group you invite to come in and see that. So they really were the ones who launched before Facebook Live launched and now we're so stuck in this Facebook Live because it's just handy. It's handy, your friends are already here, you can invite them to watch videos. So another format that has taken on a big hold, and these are some numbers I kinda wanna run by you because they are huge. For those of you who use Snapchat, did you know there are a hundred million users on Snapchat? Crazy. Actually, you know what? And that was actually in 2015. That number has grown even more um, to be doubled to 200 million users on Snapchat. It's kind of crazy. And I'm going to give you a statistic that's going to really kind of blow your mind. Did you know that 7 billion, with a B, 7, 7 billion, here I'm actually going to, 
use this little handy thing that I'm not even sure if a lot of you realize you can use. Um, seven billion. Well, let's see if I can spell billion right. <laughs> Am I backwards? Okay, let me flip and actually here's another great thing. I'm not even sure if you know when you use when you use your iPad to do videos, look at what I just did. There's another little tip I was actually gonna go over with you. You can do this little horizontal flip. And when you flip horizontally, look, you can actually see that my name is says Arclight Pictures for the company that I have, which Vontify is run under Arclight Pictures. So seven billion Snapchat videos that happen literally every day. Can you believe it? Even I was kind of stunned at that. <laughs> at that number, it's kind of crazy. So um, yeah, kind of crazy, seven billion. So seven billion videos are being watched on Snapchat every day. And you know what Snapchat likes to do? They like to do vertical videos. Vertical videos are the just the powerhouse in Snapchat. That's what they live by, that's what they do. That's how it works. So what you wanna do is, you really wanna analyze like, who am I, who is my target audience? Who am I talking to? And does it make a difference? And this is what I will tell you that, there is a nine time increase, nine times when it comes to videos viewing. People are more likely to watch videos that are vertical on Snapchat than they are horizontal. I will tell you for some reason, doing that little flip really annoys that generation, having to do that flip. So those are the things. So when you're working in Snapchat exclusively, make sure your videos are, are all vertical because that is that is the growing trend um, and that's what's happening. So when you're doing a Facebook Live, so let's get back to Facebook Lives. You saw the, some of the cool things that I've done. You know what I discovered not too long ago, and some of you have discovered this too, is that you can actually do a lot of little tricks when you're using your iPad on a Facebook Live. And one of them is to be able to write little messages. You can do different colors. You can do a flip the vertical versus the horizontal. Um, and that is something that's been very helpful for people who are really trying to get their message out. Um, that way when you grab a book, so let me grab one of my books, because that's always been a big thing. I've seen a lot of people will grab books or grab notes. So now look, you can actually read that this is a screenplay book. Obviously, I'm a filmmaker, so it's one of my books that I've had forever. Um, you can actually read it. So these are things that I want you to be cognizant of is that when you're doing a Facebook Live, and this is something that's available on your iPad, not on your smartphone. It may be available on some iPhones. That I have yet to find out. But I know that on my smartphone, I have a Samsung Note 3 that my Note doesn't allow me it allows me to do either camera the forward camera or like as you saw before i was able to be mounted in the back my backwards camera and obviously that's going to be backwards to you flipped my camera horizontally so when you do that flip just know when you do view something from the other side it does reverse it so if you do use the back of your camera for facebook lives um, that is something that you don't have to worry about. But what it does is it compensates when you actually have it flipped with the full forward camera. So, you know, here's the thing. I've had so many people asking about vertical video and really how to use it and how... Um, hi, Susan. I saw you just joined the group. I hope you're doing fantastic. Um, so vertical videos are something that we need to get accustomed to because they're the new trend and I do not believe from my perspective they're going to go anytime soon. I really feel like vertical videos are here to stay um, and a lot of it is because these phones were meant to be held with one hand. It's much more difficult for some people to sit there and have to watch something and it actually shows your audience if you're in a meeting or you're at work kind of shows like oh you are watching something where you can kind of just like covertly set your phone down and watch vertical videos. So, and that is something that here's what I want to go over when it comes to shooting vertical videos for Facebook. You have two choices with your Facebook lives. You can do vertical or you can do horizontal. I'm doing horizontal right now. And the reason I'm doing horizontal is more than likely I am going to get a set of people within this group who are going to watch this video later and they're going to watch it on, the, on another device, their laptop 
or on their tablet or on their iPad. So when they do, it's going to translate in a better, easier way for them to see me full in full view. Because what happens is you may shoot your video vertically with your phone doing your live and you do that and then you upload it so that people can view it later. Once they do that, you're going to see a difference. You're going to see that you're a little bit more. So even though there are not black bars on the side, you're going to be this way. And so you won't be able to see the video as large as if it were in a horizontal fashion. So if you want to teach somebody something, my advice to you would be, hey, if you're going to teach somebody, do the horizontal video because it makes it a little bit more like you're really pulling in that audience. And always, of course, one of my biggest tips is always make sure you're looking right at the lens and not at your screen. You don't need to watch yourself talk. So get really accustomed to looking and finding out where your camera lens is and looking at your audience directly there. So those are the things. So be cognizant, be aware of that when you're Facebook Live. But if it's something that you know that you're going to, you know, a lot of people are gonna watch on their phones, then don't worry about it. Do a vertical video because that's gonna be, you know, something that's simple, easy for people to watch. Um, but again, I'll leave it to you to decide how your group likes to view you. And for me, it makes it easier. And the fact that I was able to flip my camera means that if I do have something like this, like if I wanted to bring a message to you or write something, I can do that because I have all of this space that's over here to allow me to be able to teach you certain things, to bring up graphics, to show you different pictures, things like that. So know that you have that at your disposal. You can start using that uh, at your will, you know, having fun with that and, and doing different things. And I, you know, ask you to explore what your device does. So my device here with an iPad is so fun because you can go on and you can actually go black and white. Woo so I can have that nice film noir look and, and tell you, you know, the differences between going black and white. You want your audience to notice, maybe you go black and white because your audience is, you know, they're gonna be like, whoa, that's kind of cool. So you've got little funky, this is called the funk. <laughs> I don't know about that. And then you've got just different little things to play with. So, and then here you go back to the no filter, which is just me, all natural. So, and I saw that Susan asked a question. So Susan said, where is my camera lens when horizontal holding it? So, so your lens, Susan, is going to be right straight above. Typically your lens, like with mine, my little lens is right here. And let's say you're trying to figure out which one, which one of these little things here. Is this my lens or is this my lens? Typically your lens is here. So it depends on what type of phone you have. If you have an iPhone, if you have a Samsung or what it is. So here is my little trick to figure out where your lens is. When you're looking at your camera, however you have it, lens of course is on the back here. So let's say if you're doing videos this way and you're shooting this way and you're trying to figure out where your lens is, put your finger up on it. Boop, there we go. There's my lens, it's right there in front of me. So when you figure out that your lens is here, you know, there you go. So use little things like that. And just know that you can test your Facebook Lives out just with you on your own page. So say you wanna do some tests and I actually did several tests earlier today. You want to just experiment, experiment, have fun with it. Um, you can actually choose a specific group. So you can create a group that's just you or a group of friends that you want them to view the videos later or do that live with you to get you accustomed to it. So you can create a group and then only broadcast to that group. You can actually only broadcast to yourself. I did a few tests where it was only me. I was the only one in the privacy settings to watch my video. So you have those options. So there's, like I said, explore what different options you have. There was something else I discovered too, which was kind of funny. So Facebook has these little... <laughs> it's, you've seen them on Facebook. You've seen people on other formats kind of silly kind of quirky so um, those are things that explore your device have fun with your device check out your device to see what it's capable of um, it may be capable of so much more than you realize 
And that's where your decisions may even be more effective. Let me go ahead and turn this off here. They might be more effective when you do take a look at that device and you realize, oh, it can do X, Y, and Z. Like my device, I'm able to flip the camera. I'm able to show you things without it looking backwards. You're able to actually read uh, the stitching on my shirt because of the camera and how it is. So those are the things that I want you to be aware most of is use what you have. And if you have a device that can do all kinds of fun stuff, doesn't mean you have to do all the fun stuff. Just know that it is an option there. And some of it is just plain usable. It is just going to make you look better, uh, make it easier for you when you do the, the different things you want to do with these devices. So those are some tips that I want to share. And when it comes to vertical versus horizontal, that really, like I said, is up to you. Find what you're comfortable with. If you like the horizontal look, then go with it. Make it your signature. Just be aware that if you're going to use it on different platforms, you may end up losing some views because people literally, there is a statistic that 9%, 9% of people don't want to do this. I know it's lazy. It's the lazy 9% right now, but that's what the statistic is right now. And I will tell you that it is a trend that is growing. So I will tell you for a fact, it is getting bigger and bigger. And even a company like National Geographic's Nat Geo that you can find on Facebook does a lot of vertical videos. And we're talking, a, you know, National Geographic's. They go out, they go out when it comes to, okay, so Susan, you said you're confused thinking Facebook Live is on the front facing camera. You can actually do your Facebook Live, Susan, either way. So you can actually do your Facebook Live from the front of the camera or the back of the camera. There is a little switch. Actually, you know what? Let's just do a little tutorial here. When you go in, so I'm gonna go to my Elisa Francis Facebook page. And I'm gonna bring up a little post here. And then I'm gonna bring up, cause that's where you would go live, where you would decide if I wanna go live. So I'm gonna hit Let's see if we can bring this. I know it's a little bright. I actually can mess with my brightness settings right now. So let me go in and make this a little bit less bright. Here, maybe. I'm actually going to see if I can. There we go. Okay, so you go live here, Susan. See this little doily up in the corner here? If I press that, you know what, let me get it. Yeah, see it? Now I'm in the back of my camera. So you actually have a choice to do Facebook Lives from the back of your camera or the front of your camera. So those are the choices that you have to do your Facebook Lives. So you actually do have a choice between those two. Does that answer your question on that one? Let me go back in and see, go back to my live. So does that, yeah. <laughs> so yo, you're so welcome, Susan. I'm so glad you're on. Um, if there's any questions, you know, any other ones that you have, let me know. Um, you can also text me because I know we're friends and you can message me really quick too. Um, that's awesome. So yeah, so those are your choices that you can go ahead, do the front and the back. So that is something that is now a feature that is going to be on your smartphone. So you're able to use your front facing camera or your back facing camera. Now, I've had a lot of questions about what's the difference between using your front facing camera and your back facing camera. When you buy your phone and you get all those amazing statistics that tell you, you know, that your front facing camera or that your camera has, you know, 20 million megapixels, which is not true. Um, but it has a great number of megapixels um, and all of the great features that your camera has. 
they are talking about your back facing camera. So your back facing camera is really the one that's actually going to look the best when it comes to shooting video. Right now I'm using my iPad. My back facing camera is a better, higher quality than my front facing camera. So I have to light a little bit more, I have to add a little bit more um, to my scene to make it look um, almost as good as the other side because it does need to compensate. So those are the things that just be aware uh, when it comes to quality. It's all about the quality. So if this is a video you want to eventually use so that you can advertise for yourself, you might want to go ahead and have your friend shoot your video to make sure you're in focus, to make sure you look good, and use that back-facing camera because you want to look your best if there is a video that you know is going to be archived and used a lot. Um, and for me, doing a live it's just simply that doing a live, I'm here to provide information that is valuable to you. So um, it really is up to you. Those are the kind of questions I love, you know, when people ask, you know, how do I do this? So, um, and I love playing with these devices and figuring out all the fun things that it can do. <laughs> so, oh, so you know what? That is a really good. Um, so Susan just posted a little notice about the fact that the audio is breaking up a little bit. So let me tell you too. So these features that I'm using, the horizontal flip and the different things that my iPad can do, I realized, and I need to be aware of this when I do more Facebook Lives, every time I hit one of those buttons, the audio will cut out. So I need to make sure that if I hit a button, I am taking a pause and letting the camera flip or letting whatever it is that I need done to be done. So watch, I'm gonna do a horizontal flip. So I'm gonna pause. And now I'm back the other way. So I allowed my device to realize, oh, okay, I can't really compute running audio because I'm not sure where, sometimes they come from two different places. So I'm gonna do that. And then what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna flip this so that you can see my back facing. There you go. So again, I took a pause. You probably heard it pause for a second and I need to make sure that I pause. So I'm going to pause and flip my camera back and be cognizant and be aware that I need to take a pause. And there we go. And I'm back on air. So hopefully that actually did not cause any problems with that. I'm also going to go ahead and do the vertical, the little horizontal flip so that I'm actually right screened. So I'll take a pause. And there you go. There you go. And actually, what is so funny, too, is that um, this is one of those things, too, that we talk about so often. People ask me all the time, tell me the difference between my front-facing camera and my back-facing camera, and how do I use them differently? Well, you know what? You also have front-facing microphones and back-facing microphones. So a lot of our devices actually do compensate by having one. Sometimes your smartphone will just have it tucked down here in the bottom so that it can actually just go back and forth. But with my iPad, which is a higher-end device, I actually have a microphone, and I wish I knew where it was. I think it's on this side here. So I do have a microphone that's for me when I'm speaking in the front. And then when I flip that, you're going to get a different audio feed. So I'm telling my, basically my iPad is a tiny computer. I'm saying, hey computer, I'm going to go ahead and switch to that back camera. So let's say that I had somebody back there who I'm interviewing and I can do, and actually that's another cool thing to do too. We should try that one day. Do a little interview of someone sitting right on the other side of me and I can flip it to where the microphone is going to be facing that way. So it's going to say, oh, my camera's on the other side. Let me go ahead and make that microphone live. So that's probably the biggest reason why you hear the audio change is because the device itself is saying, okay, let me go ahead and switch for you so that I can give you the best quality for what it is that you're doing. So I hope that answered your question and um, thank you to <laughs> Bobby Francis, my partner in crime, who is uh, watching this to make sure that I'm covering everything. And I'm gonna talk, you know, make sure that I covered the subjects I wanted to cover. So. Here are the things that overall, what I wanna leave you with. You need to be doing video. There are 50 million people who watch videos on mobile devices. 
50 million people are watching videos on their mobile device, whether that would be on their tablet, whether that would be on their smartphone, it's happening. And the more you can kind of grab a hold and try to monetize that value, the better it's going to be for you. So those are the things. So and every day these mobile apps get updated. Now we have an update where Facebook and YouTube can go ahead and you can view the vertical videos normally without the black bars, weird black bars during the whole broadcast. And YouTube is doing that also, Facebook and YouTube. So you have that choice where they're not punishing you for not doing horizontal video. Because horizontal video, again, it's, it's made for television. You know, it's really the industry, the movie industry standard where it's not, you know, everyone's bucking the system. And now we have a standard when it comes to your smartphone that people... They don't want to switch. They don't want to flip their phone. They don't want to have to do that. So it's a, I'll leave it to you to decide what works best for you. But those are the differences between doing vertical and horizontal videos. And so if you have any questions, please put them in the, the little comment section. I hope this was helpful to you. Let me know if it was helpful to you. That's another thing I have not asked for. Let me know what's helpful to you. And let me know if there's other subjects you're like, hey, can you go into... X subject like I really love to do videos when I'm outside can you give me some tips on that absolutely we can talk about that just let me know I want to be your resource to let you know that I'm here to help you so I'm actually gonna do my little vertical flip and tell you that it was a pleasure having you guys on and I want to thank you for coming here so um, if you have any questions let me know and again I'm Elisa Francis and I am your Vontify coach. This was vertical versus horizontal videos. If you have any other questions, visit our website at vontify.com. And I hope to see you guys on my next, you know, topic, whatever that may be. Please leave me some messages and let me know what you want to cover because I'm here to help you. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening and we will talk to you very, very soon.